How to behave well at home. Good behavior is something all parents want and expect from their children. Most children, in turn, want to please their parents and make them proud. But as you grow and become an adult, sometimes you can get into disagreements with your parents. Behaving well at home is, therefore, sometimes easier said than done. The formula for having good behavior at home is relatively simple, by avoiding bad behavior like talking back, showing your parents that you are responsible, and being thoughtful and considerate, you can get along better at home and avoid issues. Avoiding bad behavior. Talk to your parents about their rules. Perhaps you have been getting in trouble a lot lately at home and are unsure of why. Or maybe you feel that your parents' rules feel unfair to you at times. If this is the case, talk to your parents about their restrictions and why they find them important. There could be underlying factors at play that you don't know exist that will help you understand them and their rules better. This is also a time for them to understand you better. Say something like, Hey mom and dad, I know that I've been getting in trouble a lot for breaking my curfew of 10 o'clock by a few minutes. I really want to be a better child and I never want to stress you out or for you to worry about me. But I've had the same curfew for a year now, and I was wondering if in the future you would consider extending it to 11, after I've proven that I can be home by 10 consistently, perhaps your parents are very strict on you because there are a lot of kids in your area who do drugs or get into fatal car accidents. If so, you can reassure them by being drug-free and by driving carefully. Acknowledge what causes your bad behavior. Oftentimes, there are certain situations that you can get yourself into that you know will lead to trouble. Take some time to think about occasions that you have gotten into trouble. Work to avoid such behavior and negative circumstances in the future. For example, if you get into trouble nearly every time you hang out with a certain friend, consider spending significantly less time with that friend. You can also try to talk to the friend so that you both can be better friends to each other and avoid trouble. Avoid trouble at school. One other way to be good at home is to be good at school. No parent wants to hear the news that their child has been disruptive at school, and doing so can almost guarantee that your parents will be upset and disappointed in you. Work to be good at school and avoid issues so your parents never get a bad report. Review your school's handbook as far as conduct policies as well as the classroom policies that your teachers have on an individual level. Follow these rules and you will avoid punishment. Don't argue with your parents. Another issue that many parents have is frustration when their children argue or talk back to them. You must remember that you are the child, even if you are in high school, and your parents are the authority figure over you. Though you may enjoy a close and even friendly relationship with them, they are still your parents and they are deserving of respect. Therefore, if you disagree with them about something, present your issue respectfully and without arguing. For example, if your parent won't allow you to go to the mall with your friends, accept their decision. You can say something like, I know you said I can't go to the mall with my friends, and I accept your decisions as my parent, but I do still want to go. If you change your mind, please let me know. Also, if there is any way you'd feel more comfortable with me going, could we talk about that? In the future, ask them a bit in advance so they have more time to think about it, and don't demand an answer right away. Never under any circumstances tell your parents that you hate them. Make peace with your siblings. You may get into a lot of trouble at home stemming from fights with your brothers and sisters. These fights, however, can typically be avoided. Sit down with your siblings and have a talk about ending the issues between you, and discuss ways to avoid fights should tempers begin to flare. For instance, you should always take a minute to calm down once your sibling has done something to upset you. Walk away for a moment, gather your thoughts, and then return to have a talk. Never hit your sibling under any circumstances. Respect your parents' home. Always remember that you are living under your parents' roof, not vice versa. Your parents probably work hard to provide a home, food and clothing for you and want nothing more than for you to be taken care of. Respect the things that they have given to you and the rules that they have put in place. When you are older and have your own home, you will be able to set your own rules. For instance, don't play your music too loud. Keep your room reasonably neat. Take care of the things they have given you. Don't invite friends over without checking with them first. 